hello everybody, it's PC Agent back here with another Ace770 video for you. Today we are testing uh, Callisto Protocol. I finally got the key, I finished the game at maximum security, I guess that's the hardest setting. And I actually played it on A770 and uh, here's my general impressions uh, again, yeah. Uh, first uh, we will run with DirectX 11 because uh, there was some uh, problems with DirectX 12. At first I figured it was something wrong with my system because see right now I have RAM at uh, 4000 megahertz and no matter what I did uh, our overclock underworld GPU I always had this uh, Unreal 4 uh, I mean 5 I guess 4 crashes uh, and uh, yeah I figured out something was wrong with the RAM and you will see later on uh, I underclocked it to uh, 3800 megahertz and uh, with uh, CR16 and then it worked just fine but yeah as you saw anyways here I set uh, settings to max everything to max here I will go uh, first try this without upscaling the performance you will see it was uh, not that good if we didn't use temporal upscaling uh, the FPS and the direct X11 was really bad you will see in a moment what i mean then later we'll use uh, temporary anti-aliasing uh, upscaling i mean not <laughs> anti-aliasing is already being used because uh, there is also an fsr option so uh, yeah you will see what i mean now with this stutter protocol <laughs> it's crazy because oh, look at this look at this okay so we have around 30 40 frames it's stuttering really crazy the gpu usage is around 60, 70, 80, 90, it keeps on bouncing up and down, depends on the resolution that you use, but for 1080p DirectX 11, not a good way to play because uh, everything is so laggy. You will see now when we do the uh, temporal upscaling, yeah, you have to quit, go back to the menu and set the graphical settings, so let's see upscaling to temporal. To actually change them in game, the only thing you can change in game is the resolution. Every time I had to go back to the menu and change the settings, it's weird. But uh, yeah, okay, this is a new area here. I have comparison what I meant quickly. We cover the DirectX 11. And, uh, this was not a good experience to play. As you can see, we have about 80%, 60% total GPU usage, 95, 97 depends on the resolution that you play the right side is 4k the middle one is 1440p and the left one is uh, 1080p and this is at DirectX 11 it's really not a good experience so uh, yeah let's just switch to DirectX 12 and you will see later uh, what I mean by having a really good performance I guess uh, Intel Arc uh, GPUs really need to run. Right now with the current drivers I have the latest these uh, games really run good at DirectX 12 mode as you can see we have it selected here. It's a much better experience probably because of resizable bar and everything. Uh, so yeah I figured this is the way to go with uh, Intel Arc GPUs right now. So uh, yeah, le let's just test 1440p, 4K and 1080p in DirectX 12 mode. This time I will be using the optimized settings. Here you have lightning quality standard, shadow quality medium, volumetric lights medium, particles high and physical reflections, it's on. Ray tracing I don't recommend in this game, especially because it's so single threaded, uh, this uh, game performance on CPU so uh, ray tracing will actually really kill the performance in, at this end with the Intel Arc so I really don't recommend it because the normal settings for shadows and lightning or even on medium it looks really 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 good so uh, yeah enjoy some gameplay here I will just be quiet for a bit because uh, you will see the sound design and in this game it's really good, so yeah. Now. 
You're gonna have to sneak out the way you came in. Look for a vent in the far corner. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, what? Wow, it got me, it got me. Oh, let's get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, come on, let's do it. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Sorry for such a sad advice, but uh, yeah, here I decided to change the resolution to 1440p, and you will see how good it even runs at 1440p. I was amazed at Optimize settings without FSR, it was able to hold. Almost all of the time, at least 60 FPS, and the graphics looked amazing. The gameplay was smooth, as you can see. The graph uh, there, a bit there's a bit stuttering here and there, but at the DirectX 12 mode, it's uh, really thick. So uh, yeah, enjoy some gameplay at 1440p. And once I change the resolution to 4K, I will let you know. I almost died here and uh, yeah, <laughs> see I only have one health bar left, so let's change now to 4K and uh, let's see how the game will perform. I suspect it will be around 60, no, have around 50 FPS with optimized settings, but this area, okay, it's, it is demanding because we obviously have 100% usage. But uh, once you come outside, it would be probably less. So yeah, it even dropped here to what 45. Oh, I was playing without sound, and yeah, this guy got me. Look at this brutal death. Oh my god, he got me really good. So uh, I had to skip here, let it run. Hopefully, it was not too gruesome this death. <laughs> I like the death animations in this game. I died lots of times, uh, but I finished the game in about nine hours. So I think it's good, not bad. Uh, so let's continue here, now I will do that. Enjoy some gameplay and later on we will try with FSR and let's see if we can get 60 FPS. Right now it's barely managing like 50, so check it out and see how it's going and you will see eh, if it can run for 60 FPS at 4K, optimized settings with FSR.
Say what now? Okay, I think that's enough of 4K without our FSR. I think you got the general idea how it runs, so let's save here the progress, go back to the menu because we can turn on FSR in game, obviously. So go to options, graphics, display, a 4K set, okay, go to the advanced, set FSR performance mode. It looks good on performance mode and uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know in down in the comments below what you think, how the game performs and uh, for the future videos if you got any improvements for me let me know. Uh, sorry I'm a bit late with the video, today is actually my birthday, uh, <laughs> so yeah I try to make this quick for you guys. I want to how to say please everybody entertain you guys entertain my friends here over that they are joined right beside me and uh, yeah we are going to celebrate today so enjoy uh, and see ya in the next video that 